red, black, and then that beautiful champagne. And it comes with the ability to use loose tea that yeah, goes inside. That's the best way. Yeah, you know, so chef's gonna tea. take us through. I generally never buy tea in tea bags. Yes, it's much easier, much faster. But if you have somebody over for tea, you wanna make a good impression. So what you do is you buy jasmine tea, English breakfast tea, uh, whatever you like, Darjeeling tea. I mean, there are so many, dried mint, whatever you do. And then we put it right in here. The water is already in here. And you cover it and you let it steep as long as you want. Okay. You know, if yeah. you, like the English, they like their tea really dark, so you make it dark. Yeah, and you know, there is a whole, if you, if you go on YouTube and say the best way to make tea, yeah. it's, there's going to be hundreds and hundreds of videos, but nobody is saying not to make it with loose tea. Yeah, that and, definitely is the best. And the amazing thing is, don't boil the tea once you put it in. You know, you won't keep it at high temperature, but if just before boiling, you stop it. Oh, okay. Yep. I did not know that. Uh-huh. So, <laughs> even if you have hot water, just my wife loves hot my wife loves hot water, and what we have in here, do we are cooking tea already in here? Okay, so be careful, it's hot. And only the handle is not. Let's see what we have in here. 300 oh, in the white? Oh, it is hot water, yeah, good, all right. All right, so that's what my wife does before she goes to bed. She uses hot water, lemon, and maybe a little ginger and a little mint. Not me, I like real tea. Okay. Yeah. There you go, there, there you go. go, that's okay. the difference. Okay, so I like, like the English. I, I like a black tea, yeah. I do, I like a, yeah. I don't like it as black as the English, they have it like our coffee, so Oh, dark. really? But they add milk to it and everything, look at that. Yeah, beautiful. And you can make green tea or also there's yeah, so many different amazing tea. teas. You, there's honestly, there's more teas, there are enough teas that there are as people. Yeah, I mean, so there's so many different kinds of teas. You have it in the afternoon, yeah. in the morning. There's, ca there's the, like chamomile tea for yeah. at night before bed. There's English breakfast in the morning. There's uh, so many different kinds of tea. Yeah. But this is really great. And there, it's so pretty, you can leave it right out on the stove all the time. I have my red one time. on my stove all the time. Yeah, you can add very pretty. A little milk like the English do, a little bit of brown sugar, white sugar or honey, and voila. Oh, that's, that's a nice, nice amount of sugar there. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I like the tea I like sweet. It sweet. Why not? I like that too. Yeah. Candy but in a cup. you can <laughs> also make an infusion, like you have thyme or anything like that, mint, put it in here. Yeah, yeah you can put it in the basket, any exactly. of the, like the mint and the lemon, yeah. and then you're making, uh, you know, Mint, orange tea, you could take them. Yeah, you can orange. do your own concoction. Yeah, so you add what you like in here and you can make tea. Look at so, that. Ginger yeah. and. Ginger, orange, thyme, and mint. So a really healthy one. You put it in here. Okay, and let it steep. And that's it, and, that's and it. you're done. So yep. again, so it could be enough. This is, by the way, 14 ounces. So this is more than one cup of tea. Yeah, it's perfect for two. For perfect you for know, two, okay. Perfect for two, you serve two cups because you don't serve half a liter cups, you serve a tea cup like this uh -huh. or like this. Right, right. And then you don't fill it to the rim, and then you yeah. add a little extra. So it's right, perfect. and keep, you can keep warming it yeah. up and have a friend over for tea and little sandwiches. I actually have a collection of teacups from around the oh, world, yeah. like oh, little cool. English bone china teacups. Yeah. I love. So I I love having tea, but you know, a metal tea you you have to have. It's going to heat up quickly. Yeah. Because it's small, also, and it's a perfect way to start the, the day. Yeah, this heats up on an electric stove, on a gas stove, on induction stove. So whatever you have at home, it will work. It has a big tripe like mm -hmm. bottom, so just like our cookware. All right, well, the white, there's only 200 left, so if you want to get the white, you need to be ordering. So white, this is the red. I love the red. The red's beautiful. Yeah, I have um, the red one at do home. Do you? Yeah, yeah, I was going to say I love the red. The red has almost like a, ch a candy apple red yeah. to it, like a cherry. And then you also have black, very classic. And then this one is champagne. champagne. Yeah. yeah, really, look at how pretty. It's almost like a little bit more of a matted finish on this, but ooh. And then I like the handle because it's really soft yeah. and you, it's protected to burn yourself. Now, don't don't grab this because this is metal. This yeah. will be warm. But this, the handle itself yeah. has got like cool to the touch. Yeah, it's cool 
touch handle so you can see the, the thing is hot, but the handle, no. Yeah, all right, well, we've got lots more goodies. The item number is 715-842. We also have the mixing bowls. Let me kind of pop over here. I will tell you, I own these myself. And my daughter, I got her a set of uh, the 25th anniversary cookware from Wolfgang Puck. I also got her the mixing bowls. This is another thing that sells out yeah. so quickly. I never even get to present them because my, my producer's telling me we're gonna mention them for two minutes, probably because we don't have a lot of them. Yeah. I've got red. This is what I personally have at home, red and black. But this um, has more than the ones that I have because yeah. you've got the top that pops off that you can grade right yeah, into the bowl. You can see I have a grater in here. If you want to make a salad, you want to grade if it's radishes here. Look at that. Or fresh cheese right on top of your fresh Caesar cheese. salad. Cucumbers. Look at that. And it's got it, more than one choice of, um, you've got a slicer, a grater, and a fine grater. Yeah, you have. You get, you get all three, you can pop it in, or you can put this in, and also, it comes with this um, for, to measure. Yeah, exactly. This is a measuring say, spoon, but also to clean out your thing. Oh, and how wonderful. And look at that, so if you have a salad. Yeah, these are fancier than the ones that I got. I got the very first ones that you did. Yeah. No, this one are perfect. And then, mm -hmm. you know, we love to marinate meats and chicken and uh, shrimp and mm -hmm. everything before we grill it. So now, here we have the, ma the, the beef marinating right in here. Yeah. And we're gonna put it on our panini grill. I love that. I also want to mention the bottom of these bowls has the silicone uh -huh. so it doesn't move around on the counter. That's the other yeah. thing that I like about mine. Because you see the silicone on the bottom here. They don't, when they go on the counter, they don't, they don't move around. They stay yeah. put instead of like sliding all over the place. And look at that. I have the, the marinade in here. But you want to make sure that the marinade doesn't smell up your refrigerator. So this seals it hermetically. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> the marinade so on your head. It's, it's perfect. It and if you want to eat healthy, you can yeah. take your salad to yeah. the office. See, it could have spilled on his head if it didn't. By the way, what is this? Mine doesn't have that. Okay, what this is, that? is for the air. So you oh. take the air out, you oh. put it here. Okay. And that's it. Oh, I didn't know. You see, because I got the very first original ones, and yeah. as you improve things, and yeah, we like this is the latest, find greatest, new and better ways. Yeah. That's how life is. You and, know? and by the way, it's a weekly drill, deal drop, so the price is lower than what I paid for yeah. them. Thirty nine ninety five. You're getting three of them. You're getting three of these mixing bowls. So this is very, very classic. The classic mixing bowls uh, from Wolfgang Puck, and I've got it in a one point five quart, the three quart and the four quart. It also comes with this uh, measuring and a, it's a scraper as yeah. well to scrape everything out. So And the graders, the yeah. coarse grater, the fine graper, the slicer. So you have all these three lined up here, which comes with it. So you don't need to get out and other mandolin or something like that. Oh, yeah. So it makes it easy. Huge customer pick too. Read the reviews. Yeah, but it's, Everybody loves them. It's 1810 stainless steel, the best stainless steel you can get. I mean, uh, it's gonna be with you forever. And yeah. it's... And, and you know, we also, let me scooch over here because we also have these prep bowls available from Chef Wolfgang Puck. And you know, I know, I know what I love when I'm watching the cooking shows. They always have these prep bowls where they've got, oh, you know, they've got your cilantro. It's already cut up. The garlic's already cut up in these great great little prep bowls, so I'm gonna open them because they're sealed and they also don't, don't, they don't move around and on the you counter, can, the silicone. You can bake in it, so if you want to make your little chocolate cake, your little oh, pound cake, really? you can cook right like in there. Like a little creme brulee or something? Yep. Oh, look at that. You can bake it. And then seals in, right in on there. Yeah. Yeah, so you Without got... the lid when you bake, obviously, so, but uh, yeah. you can bake in it, so it's really a great thing. <clears throat> Set of three. This is the red, and I also have the black, so your choice. And the item number is on your screen. It's $19.95, $3.99 on FlexPay. And oh. I want to mention these pots. So these are part of Wolfgang. Now, if you have the 25th year collection, yep. these will go back. These are stainless steel, so we'll talk about these. Yep. Okay, these are one of my favorite pots. Why? Because it has the colander lid. Okay. So if you yeah. cook your green beans, if you cook your eggs, if you cook your potatoes, 
You can go remove the board and you don't need anything else. You oh, don't I need love the that. colander or anything. You go to your sink and pull out the water because you can see here, it has the bigger one and the smaller one too. So if you have something really delicate, you use the small one, if not the bigger one. I love the it. The same thing with the little one. To heat up your soup at night, to warm up your potatoes. Oh, to, to warm make up, pasta. Huh? It, it, pasta, drain pasta. out the, wow. Yeah, and it's a tri-ply bottom. So the bottom is just like all our cookware. It has riveted handle. Also a stay cool handle, so it's so easy. All right, well, Chef and I have another whole hour shopping with you. We're going to take a teeny little break. When we come back, we're going to talk about the Today Special, so stay tuned. Finally, there's a night that's made for some serious you time. Finally, you can celebrate making it through the week with all the retail therapy you need. Finally, there's a night to connect, relax, laugh, and indulge in everything fabulous. And finally, there's a time to pour your favorite beverage, slip into your coziest chair, and join all the fun. Finally, it's Friday. Watch Finally every Friday night starting at 6, only on HSN. It's Customer Appreciation Month, and it's all about you. For the entire month of April, we're showing the love to our HSN card VIPs with exclusive perks like VIP Thursdays. Get a special offer every Thursday in April, plus extra flex on every item under $369 all day every day, or VIP financing on so many items. Not a card member? Apply now and instantly get $40 off when you're approved. Visit hsn.com slash hsn card or call 1-800-695-1418 for details on our exclusive VIP offers. Thank you for being an HSN Card VIP. I created Nakery Beauty to address your biggest beauty concerns. At Nakery, we work with scientists to create highly effective products using powerful ingredients that work together to target your specific needs. This is skincare for your whole body, and we're proud to be considered an HSN Clean Beauty brand. Inspired by women like you, Nakery is dedicated to providing cutting-edge innovations so you can feel beautiful all over. HSN. My name is Helen Keeney. Hey, everybody. I'm your host. And if you're ever watching HSN and say, hey, I love that top. Those jeans are pretty cute. I wonder what the host is wearing. I'm going to tell you what I'm wearing, and I'm going to tell you how to always know what the host is wearing. So this top is from Democracy. Uh, we had some Democracy shows yesterday, and I was like, oh, so cute. Must have. I love the little tiered ruffles. And then I, I love the cut, it's quilted up here too. And it's such a pretty uh, pattern. Um, it comes down, it's kind of really long. I just did that little little half tuck in there, but it's just really breezy. I'm wearing a medium, which is my regular size. It's very roomy. $44.95 is the price. Also, I got me some DG2 jeans on. Kind of obsessed with DG2 jeans. Now, I will tell you that these are the virtual stretch DG2 jeans, but I am wearing the tall. So I think these are a crop jean. So I, I wear an average. So the reason why they're a little longer on me is the sample that I had is a tall, but these are the 10 tall. And um, so it would be like maybe up to here if I did the average. But that's the nice thing about it is at petite, average, and tall, you can just pick what the inseam is that you want. But boy, are these comfortable. I'm telling you, I love virtual stretch. They're my fave. Okay. So we can search host closet. That's what you put on hsn.com. And you can see what all the hosts are wearing. So if you ever see, I know you guys message me on Facebook. I'm happy to tell you. But if you don't want to wait for me to respond to you, you can just go to host closet on hsn.com and see what we're all wearing. So I love that. Okay, so we are now going to continue with Chef Wolfgang Puck. One day, one day only, our best value of the day. It's the Panini Maker, our today's special. All right, from Chef Wolfgang Puck, the famous panini maker. It is one 
8,000 watts of power. It comes with 20 recipes. It's got a nonstick surface, those floating hinge integrated plates. Versatile, versatile, versatile. We're gonna show you breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm gonna go through the colors. We have the most limited is the midnight blue. That is the most limited. But I can tell you the most popular, and it's probably gonna sell out first, is the stainless steel. The stainless steel. This is the final two hours of all Wolfgang Puck that we've got for the sh for today. I know he's going to jump into Callie's show and Marlo's show later on, but this is the final two hours of just Chef Wolfgang Puck and all the items that he has. Here is the red. We also have champagne. So if you want a metallic, but you want something a little warmer than the stainless steel, I have champagne. Then I have the classic black. If you want the classic black available, and then we also have white. Beautiful white is available as well. Match your kitchen, match your appliances. Of course, we've got the legendary chef, undeniable reputation, innovation, award winner, a restaurateur. We could do the entire hour with all of your incredible Thank you. uh, innovations <laughs> credit. Celebrity yeah. chef always does that big award show where they get the golden statue. Yeah. Uh, so, here is the panini maker. This is what yeah. Chef uses in his own home, and My it's just twenty six ninety five today. Alexander is seventeen years old. He cooks every day for himself on the panini grill. So one day he cooks a sandwich, maybe. Yeah. One day up oh, our breakfast. Look oh, at that. Oh, that smells good. I'm not gonna lie, that smells good. Yeah, that's what yeah. smells. You could smell me. <laughs> yeah. We use some challah bread, or you use any kind of soft bread you have. And look at that. I can take it off. My grill, it cooks on both sides, as you can see. Yeah. So, and look mm -hmm. at that. Perfectly brown, and this has the best heating elements because the heating elements are uh, built into the grill plate. So that's really why it works so well. So if you like French toast, put a little syrup if you like it, or some fresh berries if you like them. Mm -hmm. Oh, a little bit of powdered sugar, and look at that. <laughs> we didn't use a pan, but we made a delicious breakfast. Or oh, I could eat it every day, you know, because oh, yeah. in Austria we eat sweets all the time. As well you should. Yeah. Now, look at that. Here I have my grilled right. cheese sandwich. Aaron, do you See have that a beautiful fork? brown I'm, gonna, on I'm each just going to go back here and grab a fork. Yeah. Because I need to start eating and more. Look, look at my cheese <laughs> I'm sandwich. I'm just going to jump in and eat everything. Yeah. Thank look you, love. Yeah, you can see it next to me. Look at that. I need to eat this. Oh, that cheese looks so good. Amazing. I'm dying yeah, to try the this The kids French love toast. it. When you show it to them and say, look at, you want a cheese sandwich? They all come and say, give me one. Look at that. Mmm. Oh, yeah. this French toast is so good. I know. Mm. <laughs> all right. Oh, look at that. Mm. It's so crispy on the outside. Yeah. And, and even the cheese. The look at that. The cheese who came out of mm. it is crispy and comes off easily. Mm. Here we are making grilled salmon. Mm -hmm. Look at it, it's almost done. I have a little salsa ready for it. And then, I forgot almost. Oh gosh. My burgers. The grilled cheese is so good. I'm gonna do more stretching of the cheese. Okay. okay. Yeah, I mean, just absolutely ooey gooey, melted, crisp on the outside. Yeah. Delicious. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's your lunch. There's your lunch, kids. I know. You, <laughs> you know, everybody loves grilled oh, cheese sandwiches. So good. If it's with uh, a soup, you know, you have a tomato soup. Tomatoes are coming in season. You have a grilled cheese sandwich with it, and you have lunch. It's <laughs> not expensive and delicious. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And it, it, this is so incredibly versatile. So French toast, lunch, kebabs. We're, I, know, I saw you've got some salmon going. Any kind yeah. of those, my favorite sandwich is a tuna melt. Yeah. A tuna melt, and you think, okay, a tuna melt, that's pretty easy. It actually, getting that perfect crunch, uh -huh. it's not like, you know, you go to those diners and they have those big grills and everything. It's kind of hard to do just in a frying pan, that, that same kind of crunch to it that you get, that you can get easily from the panini yeah. maker. Now look at the salmon. Perfectly done. You don't want to overcook it fish. You know, fish overcook gets dry, especially salmon. So keep it a little undercooked. It's better. Mm. Mm. All right. So good. I, I have to stay away from that French toast. It's so good. I'll eat the entire <laughs> no, you'll thing. eat it all day long. <laughs> I'll eat it all day long. It's so good. I have such a sweet tooth. 
This, I mean. Okay, now look at my beautiful so salmon here. Oh. And again, you're not, you know, there's not a bit, there's no cleanup. No, no it's cleanup. It's like you wipe and it look, down. Look, the salmon flaky. Mm -hmm. Look at that. And everything is on five flex pay today. Yeah. So for $5 and change, you can own this, a panini maker. This is a fabulous gift. This is something that if you're, you know, you and your husband, we're empty nesters. Our kids are like out of college, grown up, and then, it's, so it's just the two of us. So this is perfect to make Why every you single make meal. Why more babies then? So, uh, uh, honey, you know how old not, I am. Uh, no, well, babies will come out with little, little gray beards on them. <laughs> 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 Life, they're going to be old babies. <laughs> they're too old. Okay. Way too old. <laughs> All right. You look too young, though. No, you're sweet. <laughs> It's all the it's all the sweets I eat, you know, it makes me look young. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that salmon. Yeah. That is so incredibly healthy, so good for you. I'm gonna of course keep eating the French toast because I love sugar. But everything is uh, yeah. with grill marks and the burgers. Uh, look, oh look, look at the, at the oh, look at the shot of these burgers. Almost done. These look so beautiful. I'm gonna eat more French toast. Yeah. I can't stay away from this French toast, it's so good. And I would not think of making that on a panini maker. Exactly. People are saying, okay, you only can make paninis, but no, we can make so many different mm. things. And don't forget the air fryer. I have my french fries in here to go with oh. the hamburgers. Oh, how many do we have left of the air fryers, Kevin? Okay, I have 200 air fryers. We started out with 700. There's only 200 left and it's only in my show. Yeah. So there's only 200 air fryers. Last call in the air fryers. They All were right. hugely popular. Okay, and I put... A few of the crinkly fries, or what do you call them here? Waffle fries. Oh, huh? waffle fries. Waffle fries, yeah. okay. You, we can call them crinkly fries. I know what yeah, you're talking about. The crinkly fries are similar, but then like this, I think. Yeah, 100%. Five flex pay on everything today. <laughs> so the today's special is only $5.39. By the way, if you don't have an HSN credit card, we're doing the biggest coupon in the hit, in, in, in that we've done. I can't remember. I mean, this is amazing. In the history of HSN, I think we've only done one coupon more than that. It's $40, so you would get the Today's Special for nothing. And there's no fee for the HSN card. It's a free cr free card. Just get yours by going to hsn.com, putting HSN card in the search. You get yourself a free panini maker, and you can add more things. You can get the utensils, you yeah. can get more stuff, because it's a $40 off your total order. And oh, look, look at those look burgers. how nice they're cooked on both sides, perfectly grilled, so mm -hmm. you decide how you like it. I like mine medium. So that's for me perfectly. Mm. So we have the fries and we have the meat. Look at that. I love those grill marks. Yeah. That is what you, you know, you dream of. Uh, you know, you're not going to get those in a pan. And you're not going to seal in the juices. Then it's the cleanup. Look at mm -hmm. that. So I clean up always while it's still hot. I told my son Alexander, you do that, you cook on it, you clean it up right away. So you can wait five minutes to cool it off a little bit, but don't let it wait until tomorrow, because mm -hmm. then when you see it dirty, it doesn't make you want to cook. 26,000 panini makers have been sold today. 26 thousand and 53 because <laughs> it, keep, it keeps going okay, the 53 at 54 and 55 yeah. <laughs> it's just amazingly popular if you've ever thought gosh i love those panini you've ever go to the restaurants that have the panini they're just like panini places where like oh i love that crispy outside everything the grill marks you can have that at home for five dollars and change that is the flex pay today this is extraordinary the price of this yeah the price yeah. it is amazing i think it's also so perfect for a gift so if somebody gets married if somebody if somebody goes to college, if somebody is alone at home, this is mm -hmm. perfect. Even if you have a family for four, it's oh, yeah. still perfect. And you know? a really small footprint, too. Yeah. So it's not going to take up a lot of room. Love it. Look at that. A, a nice steak. If you want, you put a lot of pepper on it. Okay. Yes. I have my hands are all oily. oily. There you go. There you go. The one-handed pepper move. Fresh pepper, I've fresh learned in this pepper, show. Lots of fresh pepper, Way better than old pepper. <laughs> and a little bit of salt. Yeah. Is that sea salt? Sea salt, Oh, that delicious. Yes. Mm, so good. Ground to order. Yeah. And then we just close it down. Okay. Look at that. Mm. 
amazing. And you can do, I mean, so many things in the panini maker. It comes with 20 recipes. Yeah. So you're already going to be good to go, but you certainly can you go can online. You can do so many different things. So, Look yeah. at that. Some... I've got flatbread, grilled fish tacos, s'mores, meatloaf patties, yeah. crispy potato pancakes. Some... Why didn't I even think of that? I love potato pancakes. Yeah. Some uh, shish kebabs here, mm -hmm. or skewers, whatever you call them. And what is so amazing with this one, because we have the hinges in the middle here. Mm -hmm. So that's the whole thing. Normally, the grill plates for a lot of these panini makers are totally fixed. So they stay like that, and then you cannot cook evenly. Right, so right. But this has the uh, the hinge plate. The, hi the hinge plate here, so that way that Oh, look at that. So just makes perfectly it even. flat. Yeah. Wow. Uh, coconut chicken, lamb burgers, soy grilled fish, uh, pepper steak, uh, kebabs. I mean, uh, eggplant parmesan. Oh, I love that crispy eggplant. I didn't even think of that, Mary. Yeah. I didn't even think of that. Oh, those are so good. I love eggplant when you dip, you sort of dredge it in egg and then um, <coughs> a little bit of uh, breadcrumbs and then you can have it crispy on your panini maker. You can make um, like, and then slice it up. It's like um, eggplant fries. So good. What, are we making a Cuban sandwich or are we going more uh, grilled cheese? I'm going to make one, a pizza sandwich. Oh, I a need pizza? a little uh, bit of right. tomato sauce here. Okay. A pizza sandwich. Yeah. Put oh, a little okay. that. And then what else do we have? I don't know. Maybe a little bit of a little red tomato pesto. Mix it together <laughs> so you get the flavor of the pizza. So it's all up to you. And then we're going to put a little bit of pesto. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So good. So only your imagination gonna change what you're cooking. Put the cheese on top, put the sandwich on top, and that's it. Is that provolone or Munster? Yeah, or? Provolone, provolone, yeah. Provolone, okay. You can use provolone, you can use Swiss cheese, you can use Gruyere, you use what you like. All right, well, this is an amazing <laughs> price. Uh, and don't forget, we have choices of color. Uh, we've got the most limited, which is the midnight blue, the stainless steel, which has been the most popular all day long, but we got more of them, but more than half the quantity is gone. We've got the red, I've got the champagne, I've got black, and I've got white. And it's very lightweight, and it, it's only 3.5 pounds. 3.5 pounds, and what a lightweight and small footprint. It's only 12 by 11 by four. So, I mean, it's not going to take up a lot of room on your counter. You will leave this out all the time, chef. Yeah, totally. I use them and even like I make a grilled cheese sandwich. You can see it here. Yeah. I cut it then into pieces like that and you put it on the table and people can snack on it. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Or even for little ones that yeah. have little hands that have like a little snack there. Yeah. So it's really good and you can spice them up, put a little jalapeno in there, mm -hmm. put a little chili in there. You decide. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Okay, so 26,340 now have been ordered. This has been an amazing uh, today special. You know, people always say, how do you do such great prices? Well, this is how. 26,000 in one day. Can you imagine, Chef, going into your restaurant and somebody ordered 26,000 entrees? No. <laughs> you guys would be in trouble. <laughs> I tell you, we did our biggest party for the Formula One race in Las Vegas. Oh, yeah? Over three days, we served 90,000 people. Oh my goodness. Thank That's God all. I didn't go because I think be, I would get too nervous. But Eric Klein, our chef, our catering chef, did such an amazing job. Yeah, you, he gets organized. It's all about logistics. You logistics, know. oh yeah. They That's started incredible. to make things like we made sandwiches like that uh -huh. with Swiss cheese, braised short ribs, roasted onions, oh, and right. more Swiss cheese and made them like that. And then we just baked them in the oven. So if you've got like a little party at your house and you want to make like just make a some grill sandwiches cut yeah. them up in little pieces there's your hors d'oeuvres like right away yeah. and something really unique and yeah. you can so, you know short ribs and swiss cheese so or don't pickled have onions or whatever yeah you don't have a pizza at home but you can make get the taste of the pizza oh, look, look at, at that cheese look, look at, at that cheese, cheese. and oh. look look how it comes off oh it comes right off non-stick and Love then that. what you do if you have some friends there you cut it in half and then cut it in little pieces. Yeah, like little hors d'oeuvres, like yeah. little baby pizzas. So if you have a drink, and look at that. Oh, that looks so good. So you have the tomato sauce, you have the little bit of a pesto. Mm. Oh gosh, so incredibly busy on the phone. Oh, it all looks so good. You can add goat cheese mm -hmm. to it, whatever you like. I love it. 
Yeah, and you could have a different plates of different flavors. Yeah. You could do little t little tuna bites, little you know melts, little Cuban sandwiches, uh, and so easy. So yep. easy and quick, and everybody's like, Ooh, wow, wow, how'd you do that? Oh, you have those fancy items from HSN. All right, everybody, if you've got $5 in change on any major credit card, you can get this panini maker. And by the way, if you've got an RV, you can use this. If you've yep. got a condo, you could use this. Uh, when you talk about 3.5 pounds, let me just show you. This is what it is, 3.5 pounds. There it is, there's your panini maker. And let me show you the side. I, I want to show you those hinge plates, what that means. See how it's not like, just like a clamshell going down like this? It's, it's, it's uh, rotating right there. That's why when Chef put down the kebab, it's able to come right down straight on top because of that hinge right there. That is a high-end feature. All of, all of the high-end features, non-stick, hinge plates are on this, but 3.5 pounds. And I, I will give you the measurements. It's, the length is 12 and 3 quarters inches in the length, and then the width is 11 and a half inches, and the height is just four and a quarter inches in the height. Let me turn it this way, you can see. So it can obviously go under any cabinet. It, I mean, it's less room than like a big coffee maker. I mean, you will use this breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but your flex pay, get it home, $5.39. I know, it is amazing what you can do with it. Look at our steak here, coming close. Oh. All right, look at that. <gasps> oh, the grill marks. Look at the grill marks. Oh. Yeah. Gorgeous. So this is as good as in any restaurant. And it's for you to decide how you like it cooked. You want some fries with it. You want to do it uh, just like that. Oh, Serve some mustard. Beautiful. Whatever it is, is okay. And then you said, okay, we have something to clean. Here. I found it. Okay, you clean it up right away. Because you found out somebody in the family doesn't eat meat. And you say, doesn't matter, we give you fish. And here we have a little fish, salt, pepper, a little oil. Salmon is very good, rich in omega-3. All right. All right, we close it up, and in three minutes, we're going to have fish. Oh, again, yeah. cleaning up, it's like two seconds. I'm watching Chef Cl just wipe it down. Yeah. That's it. Look at our beautiful oh, kebabs. Oh, that looks so shish good. Shish kebabs here. See that? You could do lamb kebabs, beef yeah. kebabs, pork kebabs, chicken kebabs, shrimp kebabs. You can mix it up. It's yeah. so easy. So easy. Do you marinate the chicken first before you do a you, kebab? I, I do a lot to mm -hmm. make them Indian spices. Oh, you yeah. know, mm. even if at home you have a little curry powder, curry powder? Okay. and stuff like that. I love those tips. A little turmeric. <laughs> there it is, and the cleanup. Know, look at that. <laughs> There it is, the close-up and the cleanup. Yeah, that's the best part is the cleanup. So you cook something and two minutes later it's mm -hmm. done. Yep. Look at that, totally clean. All the, the rest of the thing you don't want is in here. And that's it. That's it, that's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. I see the hot dogs brewing. Those are my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> I said, oh, you're gonna do some bacon and now. Some bacon, oh, everybody loves bacon for breakfast. Everybody loves bacon in their sandwich and so forth, you know, a PLT sandwich. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay, maybe one more. Do you close the lid for bacon or you just yeah, leave yeah, it Yeah, yeah, you oh, close yeah. the lid. Oh, okay, so then totally. it cooks twice just as like fast. Just like anything else. Just you like close the lid, okay. yeah, and you're done. I can hear the sizzling. Yeah. Oh, there it is. There Cooking it on is. both sides. <laughs> yeah, we oh. have the fish. Look I at that. the fish is almost done. Almost done. Wow, that was quick. Yeah. That was quick. Yeah, oh. what we have here, our okay, hot dogs. I love the hot dogs. Yeah. You get those grill marks. Uh, yeah. And look, you use the, the ginormous ones. Yeah, these are from Costco, no, or what? <laughs> yeah. Those yeah. are the good they ones. They have these big hot dogs. But they are delicious. If you want to hear it sizzle, sizzle, we didn't put any oil on here, so you can put a little oil. Voila. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Okay, done. The fish, I can smell it's done. Do we have a little salad? Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. 
Okay, look at that. So if you want to put a bed of salad, normally I just would give people one, one filet, but if you're hungry, you get two. See that? Put a little salsa on top or on the side. And here we go. Look at that. And Look at I, I mean, that was like three minutes or something, yeah. four minutes. It was so quick. And if you're really hungry, you get both pieces. Okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so so easy. good. Again, the cleanup. If there's excessive oil down here, just spill it out. Okay, what we have to cook, Marianne? Do you want to do bratwurst? Yeah, lamb chops maybe. Lamb? Mm. Lamb I'm going to try, can I try the salmon? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's all for you. Yeah, oh, okay. I'm just double checking. Get a little checking. salsa with it. It looks so good. I love salmon. Yeah, okay. Oh, hot dogs are good. Oh, so good. Mm. So good. It's even like a little crispy on the outside. Yeah. So good. Okay, a little rosemary. Okay, thank you. So oh, when you make chops, lamb yeah. chops at home, okay. or even steak or anything like that, get a few branches of rosemary. You can mm -hmm. grow them yourself in a little pot outside. Again, it's really important to season before you cook. Salt, fresh ground pepper. Okay. Okay, where is it? The pepper. And yep. those spice oils are available. We have copper, red, and stainless steel. Yeah. I think we still have some of the stainless steel left. We had very few left, okay, yeah. the bacon is cooking. Yeah. All right, and maybe add drizzle a little bit good olive oil. You oh, know, that's those how lamb they, chops look so beautiful. That's how they do it in Greece. Okay, and then we just have to line them up. Okay, I see them, put them all on here. Okay. And that's it. Close it up. And that's it. Yep. And again, 3.2 pounds. If you've got an RV, if you've got a condo, if you if you you know don't have a lot of you know counter space, these are 3.2 pounds. You get them home for five dollars and twenty nine cents. That's our flex pay. Five flex pay. This is the panini maker, and I'm going to show you that hinging. That's what Chef is showing you. See how it like moves on the hinge here, where it it moves like this. So it's not like only going up and down like this. It's hinging so that those and, and the steaks and the burgers or everything have that perfect grill all the way around. This is the white. We also have the black. I've got the champagne. The red is still available. We have the stainless steel, which has been the most popular. You cannot go wrong with stainless steel. And then the most limited is the midnight blue. You're also getting a booklet with 20 recipes, 20 recipes. And by the way, we just went over 27,000 sold. That's just today. That's not in the history of Wolfgang Buck. That's since midnight today. 27,000 panini makers have gone out the door, Chef. Right, okay. Look at that. <laughs> People love panini makers. Very nice picture. They, they fake an, uh, they fake an TV camera. Oh man, we're gonna get that. Uh, like, look at no, he got he went through it like uh, a champion. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, James. Yeah. <laughs> Getting those great shots. Yeah. So, oh look boy, that. that looks so beautiful. <laughs> oh wow. You have that. Sizzling uh, who bacon. Who doesn't love it? You know, you can yeah. make your bacon for your Bloody Mary, put a little brown, brown sugar on top. Now we're talking. A little black pepper. <laughs> and That's a real breakfast. Delicious, <laughs> yep. Maybe your thing. I'm gonna make one right now. Can we get a little sugar from over there? Sugar? Brown sugar. Brown one. Do we have brown? Okay. Yeah, why not brown sugar? Yep, we, we, we're getting it. We're getting it. Uh, we got it. Okay, we get it. We got okay. it. It's, on, it's, on, it's, on, it's flying over. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm going to eat more French toast. Just okay. because it's my job as the host. I did get a memo have to taste. from my You're boss right. saying, please eat the French toast during please your show. Eat. If you would like yeah. to make me happy. <laughs> Nothing wasted. So mm. what we do is we put a little pepper on here. Spice it up mm. a little bit. Now this could be the chili flakes too. I have to look what I put on. Oh, the lamb. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a lamb. That's yeah. looking good. All right. And then we're going to get a little bit of sugar, maybe. It's on its way. Flying okay. over. Oh, and the hot dogs. And look at our hot dogs. Oh, Perfectly I got to have some good. of those hot dogs. 
Are those ready? These are totally ready, and I show you how ready they are. <laughs> I think Chef and I both ate them in the last show. Yeah. <laughs> we were both the fans. <laughs> I love the grill marks. They get yeah. crispy on the outside, juicy on the inside. Everything is so good in this panini maker. Yep. You're gonna, going to love it. All right. Now let's get one out maybe. And that's what you like with your hot dog. Mustard and ketchup or what? I, I do like mustard and ketchup. I know, I'm not from Chicago. I actually have ketchup on my hot dogs. Is that bad? Yeah, Some people no. get upset about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some people don't like it like they, that. Yeah, they're like, um, you. if you're from Chicago, you're not supposed to put uh, ketchup on your hot dogs, but oh, that looks so good. Yeah. Are we going to split this? Yeah. <laughs> you and I are going to share it. All right. There you go. Yeah. Thank, wow. thank you, Chef. Oh, so good. Mmm. So good. <laughs> I know, we're both eating, so we're not talking. <laughs> okay. Mm. Oh, we got the brown sugar. We found the little the sugar. brown sugar. God. Mm. Now this is oh, his first. These I... hot dogs are so good. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Now okay. we get your you crispy bacon. You just put brown bacon. sugar on the bacon. What does that do? I don't think I've ever seen that. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. But what do you put? Brown sugar on bacon? That brown looks so good. Brown sugar on the bacon, yeah. So you eat it like with your cocktail. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, a, like what you said, mentioned Bloody Mary? Bloody Mary, bourbon, you name it. Oh, all right. I, where's that show? <laughs> Wait, that's yeah. the show we got to do. Mary, oh, what look at that are you cheese. cooking that over there? That's looking good over there. Oh, 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 look yeah. at that. Okay, we're going to run over. We're going to run over and get a shot of that, Marianne. Oh. Mm. Oh, we got a shot of it now. Oh. No. Oh, that's the Reuben. <laughs> Mmm. It's ooey gooey. Yeah. Mary, tell us your secrets. Pimento cheese? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, that's a, that's a, it's, so it's simple. Yeah. Okay, look at that. I'm it. making chicken breast okay. here. Very I'm simple. still eating the hot dog. Very healthy. Just a mm. little bit of uh, pesto on top, and that's it. Mm. Now look how much stuff we cooked here. Isn't that crazy? French toast. Yeah. Steak. Bacon. Bacon Ooh. with brown sugar for my cocktail yeah. later. Yeah. Salmon. Burgers. Kebabs. So, little tiny hors d'oeuvre sandwiches. Yeah. And Marianne's, oh, Marianne's over there making... Fancy sandwiches. Fancy sandwiches. Oh, the Reuben. Oh, the Reuben. Oh, okay. That's the boyfriend. <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to do here. I know. <laughs> you're trying to get her in trouble. <laughs> oh. Never. Never. Okay. So that's brown sugar. Brown sugar on and the black bacon. pepper. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. Let's take it off. Yum. Mm. Little plate. Yeah. But we have to let it cool down a little bit. Mm. Okay. Ready. Good. And as you can see, we have brown sugar on here, bacon. Now. You're going to say, how are you going to clean that? Because it's totally non-stick. Look at that. Mm -hmm. See that? One wipe. And look at that. See the difference already? Yeah, half clean and half, half about yeah. to be clean in two seconds. That's what I love. You know, so simple to clean. You don't have to go to a dishwasher. You don't have to do anything. All right. All right, how much time do we have? How much time do we got, Kevin? 25 seconds. Only All five right. seconds. Okay, then we I'm have just, to stop I'm it. I just finished eating my hot dog. Okay, so here are the color choices with the Today's Special. Only weighs 3.2 pounds. Oh, I love the footprint. So small on your countertop. So many great things you can make. White, black, champagne, the red. Most popular stainless steel will sell out. Um, also, the blue is very, very limited, but I'm telling you, if you want the stainless steel, that's the one you definitely have to get in this presentation, if that's your favorite. It comes with a book, 20 recipes included. 20 recipes included. And just, I'm dying to have like a cocktail and have like brown sugar on my bacon and taste that. Yeah. Okay. I'm learning so much. Mm. Let's mention these fry pans. So, let me take a look over here. So you get two fry pans that are available, and the fry pans, uh, listen, you can make everything in these, and they are from Chef 
uh, Wolfgang Puck, and they are two different sizes. And Kev, maybe help me out with the sizes because I can't quite, is it an eight inch? I, I, oh, they're both eight inches. Eight inches. Okay, they're both eight inches. Okay. So I've I, got so one copper and one stainless. So this is the stainless, and this is the copper. So you choose which one you want. And this is, this Chef, this is a great size. This is like the breakfast everyday size, right? Perfect little size to make your little stir fry in it, to saute a little filet in that, or whatever you do. Okay. Um, also, we have the spice mills. Am I going to pop over to the spice mills? Okay. I think I'm over here. Okay. Spice mills. I have red, copper, and do we have any stainless left? Because I feel like we're in the last presentation, we're about gone. Because they were about to go. So... I have a hundred of the stainless steel spice mills. I have the copper and I have the red and they come individually boxed. So give, give one, keep one, I think you need two. So I'd get a couple of orders. I've done many shows with Chef Wolfgang Punk and I can tell you this is the thing that we never have. This is the thing that is always sold out. And the fact that we even have a hundred left is because I had them in the last hour. They go so quickly. So the spice mills are battery operated. They take uh, AA batteries that are typical AA batteries. You don't have to get any kind of fancy batteries to use these. So just regular, you can use any kind of like black pepper. Any, any, you know, fresh seasoned salt, so if uh, sea salt. So they're two and a quarter inches long. The height is six and a half inches, and you're good to go. Um, as Chef Marion, as somebody, somebody, okay, all right. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna, you know, you're seeing Chef, and he's like doing stuff and putting it on everything with the spice mills. So uh, if, <laughs> this is what we're... Red wine are gonna have lamb chops and red wine gonna go very well together. Okay. Oh, we're, we're talking about the spice huh? mills? Well, I saw some red wine over there. Okay, so. well, we got distracted by red wine, which is understandable. Okay. That makes total sense to me. So I've got some spice mills over here, and I'm gonna show the different uh, coarseness, uh, which which you would show. Uh, you will, Marianne. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, don't be sorry. This he is live TV. Do something. If, you, if you distracted me with a bottle of red wine, I also would not come <laughs> and continue talking. Go ahead. I love these. <laughs> the easiest spice mill he's ever made. Why? Because the top just has this gigantic opening, so you can not only see how much spice is left, but really, really easy to fill. I love that because easy to eyes, fill. As our eyes get older, right? It's <laughs> nice to be able to no, see. She's looking at me. No, <laughs> no, no, no. My eyes are very I'm old. I'm 62, dude. So. <laughs> I am two months younger than you. I'll be 62 in June. <laughs> but anyway, to change the coarseness, as you were saying, all you're going to do is twist the bottom, and it does have a little light in it, which is so nice. If you have, if the dining room is dark, oh, yeah, you can see um, how much spice you're grinding. But the little lever that you turn adjusts the coarseness. And Wolfgang chose to use a ceramic for the bird, the part that do the grinding. That's important because if you had salt in here, you could imagine how much it would corrode. But it's really easy. One button, it's right there. All you're going to do is press, and then you get to adjust the coarseness. Do you want it really coarse? Maybe for like a stick of poivre, you would like mm -hmm. it like that. Or if you have little ones that maybe aren't as fond of it, you can wind it all the way down. Mm -hmm. I got to really interrupt you. Last call on the silver stainless oh, okay. steel. Last oh, that's call. This one. That's this one. We yeah, never have these in so stock. Pretty. I just can't believe we have the stainless steel, but it's last call. We just have a few dozen left. Go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt. I just no, wanted to do so an update. I'm so glad you did because yeah. it's such a beautiful color. And now you're ready. Good. <laughs> Come on. No, no, he's, he wants to talk about the wine bottle opener. <laughs> still, still, it's all you. Um, it takes six AA batteries. Um, it does come with a two pack, and each one is individually boxed. So if you want to get a set for yourself and a set, a set to always great, like when you're invited over for dinner, instead of, you know, it's a great thing to bring, even it's, if you're the wine opener, the bottle of wine with the wine opener. Yeah. The, the bottle, of, uh, bottle of wine gonna be gone at night. Right. The bottle opener, they're gonna use it all the time. Mm -hmm. So it's an important part to have. And I know my wife, when she's at home and people looked how she opens the wine with the wine opener, people yeah. said, 
Where did you get that? Everybody I never wants saw it. anything like that. They said, well, here, take it home. We we'll always look for more. No, she already told me, says, bring home some more wine opener because we really need it. Okay, so three colors with the spice mills. Mm -hmm. That's the copper. We have the red. And do we still have the silver, Kevin? Two dozen, 24. If you want to get this, and I'm telling you, every time I do a show, they're always sold out, so that's they're about to go. Now, what is the mixture in there? That's cinnamon, nutmeg, and sugar. Ooh. So you know how you go to the fancy coffee shop yes. and you have all the little shakers that yeah, you can like put on? Yeah, it's like $7 for a cup of coffee. This <laughs> is like a bazillion times better because you ground it fresh, so you Ooh. get this huge punch of the smell of cinnamon or nutmeg or whatever you put in it. I love it. And this it. one has everything bagel. This one has chili flakes. And please, save me. <laughs> what do you mean? She doesn't want to talk anymore on TV. She doesn't want to talk she anymore. She wants you to oh talk God, on TV. Greg told me I should have you talk so you talk less at home. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Yeah. I feel oh, like oh, I feel oh, like this entire show <laughs> is kind of uh, well, he's testing right. the limits. Okay. <laughs> they have the best marriage I've ever seen. I know. <laughs> so good I'm luck. Fifty years. There they go. We just got a shot of you guys. Forty years. Forty years. Oh, so you're newly married. Forty years. <laughs> okay. That's more than all my marriages combined. So okay. I, you guys are. Winners. How, okay. many, how many husbands do you have? Four? Uh, just three. Just Come show? on, oh Chef. God. Just three. Okay, you have to continue. Why are you stopping? <laughs> well, so far, we'll see what happens. Okay, good. All right. So far, so good. So far, so good. Okay. The, the last Everybody... one knows how to cook. Okay. Uh? Yeah. My husband now knows how to cook, so okay. I'm sticking with him. What? Well, does he cook in the bedroom or in the kitchen? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> this is a family show, oh, Chef. Okay, well, you can have a hot plate in the, in the bedroom. All right. We'll All be right. cooking up paninis in okay. the bedroom. Okay, perfect. You never leave the bedroom. Look at that. Oh, silver sold out, and I'm not sure how anything sold yeah. out. What, All what right. we're talking about. Well, so. you know what? A lot of people have mm -hmm. this kind of sword, the iodized sword. It's terrible. Throw it away. Or oh, pepper like that. Throw it away. Here, voila. You need fresh pepper. <laughs> Grind it the way uh -huh. you like it, fine or coarse. I want to talk about the air fryer. I love you. <laughs> Here's the air fryer. Okay. It's almost 150 remain. We've almost completely sold out the air okay. fryer, Jeff. Uh, you so love I, the air fryer or me? No, no, I, no, no, no. You, you're never leaving us. But okay. the air fryer, okay. there's only 150 left. Okay. So I want to, listen, we had 700 when we started the show. There's yeah. only 150 left. I predicted that every single one would sell out during the show because these are the only airing we don't have. It's not going to be on again because there's hardly any. The item number is 868-081. 868-081. You, you love know, the air fryer. It is amazing because you can cook with it everywhere. You know, if you have a lanai, you keep it out on the lanai, you plug it in. You don't gonna take your big oven outside because it's uh, fixed against the wall. You wanna cook your roasted chicken, you will never have a roasted chicken like that made in the air fryer. And naturally, it's easy to go to the market, pick up some uh, sweet potato fries, some regular fries, crinkle mm. fries, throw them in there and do them. Or just roast vegetables. You know, <coughs> vegetables roasted have so much more flavor, why? because it caramelizes the juices and the sugar. Chef. If you do the water, it's Wine. terrible. Wine. Watch, watch this. Okay. Wine. Okay. See how we get them coming? Okay. There we go. <laughs> so we've got... All Listen, right. I do what I gotta do we as a host. Have, I started already, you <laughs> he's know. Already, so he's already started because he saw wine. You Who have the, the wine opener. Right. It comes Three choices. with the foil cutter here. You know, that three makes choices. it really easy. Yeah, three choices, the colors. There's the colors. Yeah. <laughs> Black, champagne, and red. Look but this that. looks so, like red, uh, aqua blue, and then like an yeah. off-white. So you cut the foil off on top. Every wine bottle generally has foil, unless they have a, a screw cup. And then, look at that. So if you have dexterity issues, it's no problem. Yeah. Look at that. I all have two fingers. Mm -hmm. And the, look where the cork is. There it comes out. These are so cool. It even has my name on it. Look at that. <laughs> Good, you're famous. Can you believe that? Yeah. Even I the cork it. has my name. <laughs> look at that. Again, red wine, our Cabernet. Mm -hmm. 
There it is. Again, Wolfgang Puck is opening up Wolfgang Puck yeah. on television. So $18.95. Now, when you come over to somebody's house for dinner, bringing a bottle of wine, wonderful. Bringing yeah. a bottle of wine with a wine opener yeah, is, um, is memorable. Because they're gonna Absolutely memorable. They're going to use that all the time. And even if you do it at home, let's say you say, okay, I don't want to drink the whole bottle, though it's easy if the wine is good. You cork it back up, just like that. Look at it. And then the next day, because wow. it keeps better. Because I don't think I've ever, you just put that cork right back in there. Yeah. I don't think I've ever, If you let it sit outside, it grows a little bit. Oh, because okay. The humidity, and then you can't but get it in. Right away, right. it's easy. And then the next day, you do the same thing. And then there it is. All right, so let me give you the details. It takes four AA batteries. Um, it has the foil cutter and the wine opener. Yeah. And this is our final quantity. How many do we have? My card says there's final quantities of this. Okay, so we have about 1,500 of these total. Champagne is getting limited. So is it champagne aqua or is it turquoise? Okay, we're calling this turquoise. Turquoise, yeah. This is champagne and this is the red. So uh, if you, you know, honestly, you could even give, a, you know, a bottle of white wine and the champagne, exactly. red wine with the yeah. red, however you want to gift this, but yeah. or match their kitchen decor. But this is a great thing to have. If you have dexterity issues, you know, honestly, years ago, I worked at a fancy restaurant yeah. as a server and open up a bottle of wine at a table was the most stressful thing because they were expensive. And if I messed it up, you that know, bottle of wine was, know, it was very stressful. Like that. If you don't get in all the way straight, if you get in sideways, you yeah. have a good chance of breaking the cork. Yeah, then the cork is and inside then the, the wine. And the cork is still in there. Ugh. You try to fish it out. It's a pain in the neck. And uh, you certainly, if you're a waiter, they're going to look at you and say, you know. <laughs> Not a pro. <laughs> go, 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 back, go back to school. You know? <laughs> and learn what you're and, doing. And learn a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. now I should teach you one more thing about wine. Because now you have the opener. You have to be like a professional to open it. You can see the cork is perfectly done, nothing is broken. That's why it's easy to put it back into because the cork is totally whole. So, okay, so teach us more about wine. So, so then, if you, let's say you don't drink a lot of wine, so you have, especially Cabernet, you don't put in too much at first. The maximum, like what I have here, mm -hmm. you swirl it like that. Yeah. And then, the bouquet is really important. What does it smell? You're gonna smell it like, um, I'm not an expert in wine. But no, not the wine. What do you smell? Red fruit, plums, blackberry, raspberry? It, it does smell more little like blackberries to me, yeah, if I had to pick okay, something. Okay, yeah. So it's, I, I it, didn't know what you the... Ca yeah. You can get the, the thing. And then, say, mmm, great bouquet. And then, mmm. And then you look at them and say, very complex. So you tell everybody, very complex. Very complex. And they think you know everything about wine. Okay. I taught that to my son. Yeah. And he was maybe 12. Okay. We went to a restaurant and I tell the waiter, I said, no, I don't taste, he tastes. I didn't even look at him. So he goes home and serves. He was a little nervous, I think. And then uh, Byron, like I think it was with Byron, Byron goes, and I don't think he even tasted it, or maybe he did a little bit, but then he looks at the sommelier and says, mmm, very complex. <laughs> you know that scene? His face fell down and says, oh my God, this kid uh, is well, not about Wolfgang wine. Well, he's son, of course <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna be an expert in all yeah, things yeah, food. But if you have lamb chops and red wine, yeah, from the panini maker. He made yeah. those with the panini mm. maker right here live. Um, but these are, uh, there's only 200 left in the champagne. These are $18.95. Amazing, giftable. They come a boxed, of course. And then you, you do get the foil cutter, which is at the bottom. Yeah, so that's, it comes off. It comes off. And the, it, yep, there it is. It comes off. And then you just, you, you cut the foil. If, if, if it has foil, and then you've got, you know, just and easy. The, even the foil, look at it. It's clean cut. Yeah. Even the knife, you cannot do that. Maybe so. you're drinking wine out of a box because you feel like you can't open up a corked wine anymore. <laughs> well, don't do that. <laughs> We cook with wine out of the box. Oh, do you? Yeah. Okay, there we go. The confessions Maybe. of a chef right there. <laughs> yeah, but these are, again, it's a beautiful gift. Very, very affordable. Yeah. Chef, I know we've only got about a minute and a half left in the yeah. show. What time? When is it going to be on again? Do you guys? 7 o'clock? You're on at 7 o'clock? Are you doing the Today Special? 
Yeah, so you're going to be the with Kelly. The last ones, the last ones, and yeah, then the last that's, ones it. And that's it. I won't be back until August sometimes, because until August? August, 26 years ago, I started here at HSN with pots and pans, mainly for a few years. Then I met Mike, and he started to do the appliances, so yeah. 26 years. I think I'm the longest one uh, selling stuff here. Uh -huh. Why? Because we are all about quality. I don't want you to buy something and you're not happy with. Yes, sometimes there can be a defect or something you don't know. But overall, we always want to have the best quality for the best price. And that's why I like HSN, because they buy in big quantity, so you always get a better price. You don't have a store on Rodeo Drive or on Water Avenue or Fifth Avenue in New York. Mm -hmm. We are here in the swamps in Florida <laughs> with the alligators, and the rent is cheap here. So It's not really a swamp. <laughs> it's kind of a nice area. Oh, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> no? Okay. There, she are, said there it's are some alligators. Nice. Okay. He's not lying. There's some Everybody alligators. Everybody move here to St. <laughs> Petersburg. It's so nice. <laughs> Cheers to everyone, you know. Thank you so much, Chef. Thank Never you. a boring show. Thank you to uh, Marion Getz and her husband, Greg. You'll be happy to know they stay together for the entire show. Mm -hmm. They have their marriage survived. <laughs> <laughs> their marriage survived the whole show yeah. in spite of Wolfgang Buck. 40 <laughs> years and it's a day at a time. Yes. You know, that's what marriage is, no? Uh, no comment. Yes. All right, we're going to continue on with more live TV. If you love Bobby Ray Carter the way I do, you have to watch her and Sam Sabora. There's a special surprise at the end of the show, so stay tuned. Thank <laughs> you.